Greetings, everybody. Radaman here. Thank you for tuning in to episode 31 of Wendigo, which originally streamed live on Twitch. Scree is not 50-50. It really depends on your difficulty level. Um, the higher the difficulty, the more the li likelihood that it is instant rot. So the first thing I'm going to do is donate to get my rep up. So we're at what was it, 26? So let's get like 70 rep if we can. That's kind of a hot, tall order, but we'll get a lot of rep for uh, for gifting things. 21. 22. Oof. Wolfskin plain leather. I'm not even gonna do two set of that stuff. I'll just I'll just gift it. Wow. There's really no amount of human meat that they're gonna care for, so I'm just gonna keep it all. Hmm. I'll gift them the armor skin gland. They downed the person, they might as well. Um benefit from the the downing. Alright, that's some. And some of the meat, too. The regular meat. I'll keep the thrombo for animals. So, plus 40. Now, let's see what we can buy from them. We can buy back the gifts. Won't be doing that, obviously. It's a little tempting to buy the cotton, but knowing that I can grow it myself, I won't. I could sell the... the or I could even gift the wool parkas, because I, I have a lot of wool. All the bison that we have, we can... Well, no, not that. All the bison that we have, we can shear it. Shear them and, and gift out that stuff. So that's two more rep. So we're up to 74, which is pretty good. And what do you have to buy? You have steel... I don't think I'm actually going to buy much. Unless there's something nice. Which there isn't. I don't think it's worth buying the marble furniture to break down. The markup on that is pretty atrocious. So, that's it. You came here for me to... I called you in using rep only to gift you stuff. Because you didn't even come with blocks. So be it. Is there a way to make uh, travel meals with meat only? No. They, travel meals in pemmican require some sort of vegetable. I could make travel meals for sale. That's actually not that bad of an idea. Um, in fact, making, if once I have the uh, research done, making travel meals out of human meat, um, it's a pretty good idea once I'm, uh, when I want a caravan a, a long way. But I, I don't have that research done, so. Tis gonna have to wait. I'm surprised these guys didn't want my uh, armor, but I guess that's that's a different uh, different trade. Hi, Dukas. Extremely impressive temple. Wasn't it called a sanctuary just like minutes ago? <laughs> what the hell? That's another bug that I found, is that if you have a custom-named uh, sanctuary room, it changes what they call it constantly. It's too bad Protein and Diver didn't join me for this. More participation makes for better rituals. You like the carpet layout? I'm glad. Ah, what? 93% and it was boring? Screw you. Jesus, game. It's not fair. Perfectly, everybody enjoyed themselves and I suffer penalties. <laughs> Typical RimWorld. Is the crack floor the idea, idea style? Yes. 
It's uh, called Morbid. Ah, stupid failures. 93% should not be a fail by any measure. It's so absurd. Well, the worship for village is calling me. I I will heed that call soon. Why are you cooking? I guess technically you're allowed to cook uh, simple meals. That's fine. I'm actually happy that Eli would do that. Keep the uh, animals fed because they have no food left. Did we fail the exosuit surgery? No, we didn't. Uh, Moles has it. Moles is one of the backup constructors, and having her have uh, higher manipulation is going to be very... Well, she's also a brawler. Eli is obviously way overdue, but he's not one of the originals. Uh, so he gets uh, mistreated a little. All right, here's the last of the dyes that we need. Or that we have. Used to change raptor's color. And then we're going to go to the Worshipful Village in the morn, I think. The current goal is the Worshipful Village. It's above my head, actually, written out. For your convenience. But every, every time I, I thought I was poised to go, something slowed me down. Right now, what's slowing me down is the lack of meals to get there and back. So I need, uh, I need to allow Raptor to do some cooking. And then with Mole's increased construction ability, I'm going to allow her to lay down some of the steel flooring. Randy is slowing me down, yeah. Knowing Randy, the moment I leave for the Worshipful Village, I'm going to get some sort of mega stupid raid. Just like the, um, the one on six that uh, Glitch had to do the last time I left for it. Milky Springs in. Uh, thanks for the follow, Anilla. Thanks for the resub. The tribe expands. Ooh, even more yaks coming in to suffer and starve. I don't understand why they do that. Now, I know Moles only has one good eye, but the exoskeleton suit should make up for that. She shouldn't sh fail quite the way she was failing before, and that seems to be the case, which is good. Other things that it could do once I have a little downtime is to add additional skull spikes around the colony. Oh, uh, this needs to go. Uh, actually, protein. Could, well, yeah. Where are you going with that? Now this is a valid prayer spot, which allows Glitch to get his side focus back up so that he can be side casting when needed. The current research is fabrication, just taking a very long time. We have a quest. Pig, the chief of the Vexa Camtox. Who? Oh, they are the Worshipful Village people. Oddly. No, that's someone. That, that's Vexa Menno. Who's Vexa Camtox? I guess it's this tribe. Which is weird. Okay. Something very strange has happened. Why are we neutral with anyone? I think the update... Oh, but they don't exist anywhere, do they? Hostile plus 100? Wait, what the heck? That's not what hostile means. I don't know what's going on. The, clearly the patch has screwed stuff up severely. Because there's new factions that didn't exist previously. Uh, so the faction leader that previously didn't exist but now magically exists is offering us 
uh, to call down a mech cluster with two centipedes, a lancer, two pikemen, a scyther, a weather controller, a countdown activator, five mech nodes, two assemblers, an auto inferno, a three mini sluggers, two charge turrets, and here are the rewards. And I'll let you all choose should we accept these scourge pods. A simple yes, no. And I'm going to save and hand this over to Yoda for a second while you all vote. Hopefully nothing happens and I don't have to save scum. Be back in just a second. I'm sorry. <laughs> Some Yoda love. All right, I'm back. I'll leave Yoda on a little bit longer. Yes, seems to be the uh, answer here. I think what I'm gonna do, if you do want me to do the Scorch Pods, is to not accept it until I've done the Worshipful Village, so I don't push the Worshipful Village off. Try to get that done, you know? Uh, so maybe tomorrow morning I will go to the Worshipful Village now that I have some uh, fine meals to get me there. Hey, buddy. And then accept the Scorch Pods, because I have four days to accept the Scorch Pods, so it's not really urgent that I accept it. Whenever he stands, you hear Lion King. Here, let me put Lion King in your head. He's got them Dumbo ears. <laughs> Mooney, thanks for the resub. Look at all these weapons that I need to melt down. Some of them are even nice. These charge lances. They're not. They're actually good weapons. I just. You know. People are just so uh, busy. I guess I'll force. Some of them to be hauled in. I think the problem is we just have so many corpses to butcher that it's we're like drowning in excess corpses. Right? Because every time we butcher corpses, then we have all this uh, tainted gear to get rid of, and then we have to haul the tainted gear. I don't think cremating the tainted gear would be any faster, to be honest. Crippled by success is, I, is I guess what I'm trying to say. Alright, so we will accept the Scorch Pods. Uh, I'll update the the goal at the top. Let's call it and Pods. Tomorrow morning we'll head up to the Worshipful Village. Hack information for the Flesh Collar. And then do the Pods. No, I don't care. I wish I could just ignore everything about this map. Suffering from success, yeah. Too many, too many dead bodies. These heaters can be moved back to help speed up, uh, speed up the crafting. started playing State of Decay 2. I'm actually going to be picking up that stream, sort of, uh, I should say, picking up that stream on Thursday, but I'm going to be playing on lethal difficulty with no minimap. I figured, uh, why not make it extra ridiculously hard for myself for funsies? So, <clears throat> that's what I'll be streaming Thursday. <laughs> lethal, no minimap, no legacy, It'll be a good time. Okay, the other thing I might do here 
is actually allow uh, the people that are going to go out to the Warshuffle Village to wear recon armor, or at least the non-garbage recon armor, because the heat benefits, the insulation benefits outweigh the thrombo fur. I'm like sort of tempted to put moles in cataphract just to see how fast she moves. I'll put it on and see see what her movement speed penalties are. What the hell were you wearing? Scrap armor? Were you wearing that? You better not have been. So she yeah, she's fast enough to wear the cat cat armor. All right, so Raptor, Tourettor, Mallet, and Moles uh, are going to go to the Worshipful Village and make them worship a new god. All the while praying uh, that I don't get trolled back home, which is quite possibly what happens, given my track record. So, what do we bring? One thing I probably want to do... Well, no, my, my guys don't really care if they have... Um, they don't really care if they have... Uh, bed rolls. Really? I have to bring that many food? Fine, 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 fine. Well, hold on, maybe I just bring raw rice. Yeah, that's better. Okay, this will work. Some extra herbal meds and some extra tea. Okay, we do have a new calf, so I will queue up the giveaway. Just a second. We always seem to have a new calf. Giveaway timer is live. Glitch and Eli are going to stay put, stay home. Everybody else is going to go. Was Silent rel related to the main Wendigo family? No. The main Wendigo family is these five. Glitch, Raptor, Tourette, Mallet, Moles. Glitch and Raptor are married and they have three kids. Tourette, Mallet, Moles. And uh, Eli is not part of the family formally, but has been added since. We've we've had uh, a very hard time trying to add people. It's been challenging. Raptor, why aren't you hauling? Okay, here we go. Now, I took all the bison because there is a small possibility. Ooh, there we go. Some free rep. There's a small possibility that we'll be able to strip the Worshipful Village of its resources to our benefit. I wouldn't hold my breath on it because they might send in re waves of reinforcements to make that impossible, but we'll see. We'll see. With the with uh, Tredder off map tile. I'm going to put the heaters back into the research room. I probably just need to make two more heaters. It's not like I'm hurting for power at this point. And just keep the bedroom warm and the research room warm. That way we can research faster. Oh, but with moles off map tile, uh, someone's going to need to do the growing. Glitch, it's you, dude. I'm sorry to say, I should have uh, I should have had uh, moles finish that harvest. Because we're out of rice. Like... Basically entirely. And, and Glitch decided to uh, take a bit of a rest instead. Neat. Because he has Mechanites. I did take all the rest. But it doesn't really matter because if the calf starves, the calf starves. And the calf has four meals, so it shouldn't starve. Yeah, I'm going to force Glitch to, to uh, regain some... Or uh, harvest some rice. I'll just... Yeah, it's fine. So, the main crew is only... 
uh, seven tenths of a day away from the Worshipful Village. There's four tribes people. I have no idea what the population of village will be, but it's probably be a bit. Probably like 12 or something. Oh, that is a terrible waste of Luciferium. Let me haul that first. I didn't realize there was Luciferium all the way up there. Or, like, I forgot. Ah! And this calf here, I'm just gonna banish. Bye-bye. Bison calves. Hi, Tusky. Bison calves, slow down the caravan. I have no interest in slowing down the caravan. Come here. <laughs> well, Glitch is trying his, his best to get the rice harvested. He's no moles, though. Who got abandoned? Uh, just a bison calf that got, that got born. A new one. Unnamed. We're so backlogged, we haven't even hauled this stuff away. I guess it's better than the inverse of being so devoid of work tasks that you have nothing to do. Dig's in pain because he has a burn scar to his eye. He's not uh, hurt. Not in a way that I could fix. Thrombos. Can Glitch take rare thrombos out on his own? Viper! <laughs> Fancy having you here. Congratulations, my newest bi bison calf. If you want to change your name, let me know. But there you go. Cheers. Yo, are you shivering? Are you shivering? A bison named Viper. Well, we do have a human, or a wendigo named Raptor, and a wendigo named Mallet, so, you know. And one named Glitch. There's a lot of nouns. A lot of strange nouns in these names. It's totally fine. Uh, I do actually think that Glitch could probably solo a Thrumbo, if need be. That and, uh, Eli isn't... Eli could, uh... Could use. Hmm. Maybe it makes the most sense to like incendiary it. Well, I don't know. Oh, that's bio coated. Let's get you an assault rifle. Why are you wearing scrap armor? Wait, why are. Why would. No. Take that off. Stop being stupid. You're already slow enough as it is. You don't need something that reduces your movement speed further. Hi, village. Wow, there's not a lot of you. Uh, I feel almost bad, but I don't. It's just not very sporting. To give you, you have no chance of survival. Alright, I think I'm gonna wait for the, uh, thrumbos to go to sleep. Before, you know, ganking them. I didn't check if any of them were recruitable. Let me check that real quick. No. Did I check all of them? There was one cannibal, but it didn't meet her requirements. So, yeah, no.
Alright, you want to sit in cover? That's fine. But I'm going to force you to move. Surprise! <laughs> yeah, a little rude, but that's how we play. Uh, Tretter, you go hack. They have Steely that we can... Oh, yeah, they have a lot of blocks, too. Oh, man, they have a lot of stuff. Um, let's see. First things first, cloth for the floors of a ritual room. Because uh, killing people and stealing their cloth is a lot more meaningful than just, like, getting our own cloth. Uh, let's force open all their doors. And then... I will remove floors everywhere. Terminal hacked, I may leave. Well, guess what? That's not happening. I don't know what the... Oh, so 0. 0.7 hours until enemies arrive. Okay. I don't think that this trip is going to be a trip that we try to... Uh, butcher anyone or anything like that. We're just going to... Uh, try to gain as much resources as possible. Because I don't want... You know, it turns into a wave survival, so I, I'm just trying to make the most amount of raw resources I can before the next wave. Because here they are. They're preparing a while, which seems weird, but there's six of them yet again. So it does force you out of the Worshipful Villages rather quickly, which is fine. Totally fine. I'm just going to strip everything of value here before I have to leave. Thank you for the raid. Cheers. I would like to hear about... Here, let me put myself on, not my puppy. Well, no, let me just keep Yoda on. He's better, better presenter than I am. Thank you for the raid. Tell me all about uh, the ideology that you're running. And if you're wondering, here is my ideology that I am running. We are... It's very, very straightforward. We are just cannibalistic sea ice uh, raiders. So this is our, our beautiful base on sea ice. And oops, I'm already getting shot at. Gotta pay attention. I thought they were preparing a while. That didn't seem like a while to me. Oh, we got shot to the head. Great. We're right now in a worshipful village just, you know, killing, looting. Oh, they weren't even raiding me. They just decided to shoot Charader in the head and they <laughs> for because it got too close, I suppose. I think all the necessary information that you would need about this is in the about. Uh, Randy Random losing his fun, you know, so on and so forth. You've not been having much luck? You're in an alpha biomes? Oh, I know for Forsaken Crags. Yeah, Forsaken Crags, the one full of obsidian, sharp, jagged ridiculousness, yeah. That could be tough. That could be real tough. Oh, dear lord. There is yet another wave. All right, let me start um, clearing out these tribals so I can get out of here because now it's four versus 12 and it's only going to get worse as time goes on. And they're taking cover behind uh, Chunk. Well, actually, they're not. Some are. Okay, the southern ones are making an assault. Bye, Sam. I'll just have moles soak up. Oh, they're all dead. Yeah, we want to get out of here before this wave survival turns into I don't get any yield from anything. So, southern group is... Ah! Switch targets. There we go. Southern group is almost dead. Nope, they're shooting at me. Stop it. Ooh, piece of candy. And let's go to the northern group and then just get out of here before we get overwhelmed by numbers. Because every... 
uh, almost every hour they send six more. And uh, that's going to be a little dicey if I continue to linger. Um, especially without a Psycaster out here. God, they're just outside of range. Here, moles bring them in closer. Nope, even more are coming. <laughs> oh, all right. It might just be I have to walk out. Uh, two hours. Okay, no, I have two hours until next. So let, let me try to take it, but it, it's getting ridiculous. I might need to use Insanity Lances. Because how many are we now? Oh, only 10? That's not so bad. Four on ten. And yeah, it is it's endless. But we we really do have the upper hand of gear and all that. Now there's just five. What's annoying is they're, uh, the recurves outrange us a little bit, so they're hard to bring into a fight. And I don't like when they aim at me. I want them to aim at moles. I could use uh, walls to break line of sight. Out, Raptor got tagged. That's what I didn't want. Oh, Salamander's a brawler. Now let's stop the patching. Go for murdering the brawler. Or the uh, melee. -er. And then get out of here. Almost done. Alright, so now I can caravan out. I have 0. .3 hours, so you know what? Without a further ado, I've I've killed... How many did I manage to, to kill or down with the four of us? 19, 20, 21, 22, 23? 23 versus 4? I can live with that. Alright, let's get out of here. We have made them worship us. Somewhat. Uh, do I want them as prisoners? Probably not. Uh, let me check them. Bios. Oh! Yeah, incapable of d dumb labor, and they're already missing a kidney. They're recruitable under our rules, but... Oh, here we go, here we go. Yes, yes, I want you. Oh my god. Ostrich, yes. Absolutely. So, for those of you that don't know, uh, here's some rules. If you took at the bottom left... The only people that we're allowed to recruit, they have to be, they cannot be wimps, they cannot be body purists. They have to have a passage, pass, uh, passion in some sort of combat. It doesn't really matter what combat it is, ranged or or, or melee, shooting or, or, or melee is fine. Um, and they have to, of course, be cannibal. So we have a lot of requirements uh, that possible recruits have to meet, and Ostrich here meets them. He is a passion in shooting, is a cannibal, uh, and is tribal. So, done. The other one also met it. Uh, Carb. No, it wasn't Carba. Was it Carba? But Carba is incapable of dumb labor, so I have, like, zero interest in adding that. But do I? With also a missing kidney? Yeah, no, forget that. And a scratch scar to the torso? Yeah, forget that. Okay, I'm gonna need to patch Ostrich, but once we're caravaned, that should be fine. What about you, Sam? Uh, not a cannibal, so it doesn't matter. Gray, what about you? Not a cannibal, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we did get one prisoner. That's a net benefit. We also got uh, a truly obscene amount of um, blocks and things. <laughs> oh my lord. Let me get the marble instead. That is a fantastic haul. 
Let's go for wood. Uh, 200 marble, 215 granite, 130 wood. Oh, and silver. Whew. Yes. Send. Worshipful village is done. We now have the first clue for the second artifact. Well, it should be second clue, but that one bugged out. And if Ostrich survives, because on, uh, yeah, it's going to survive. You basically get like instantly patched up on Caravan, as you can see. And then possibly recruiting Ostrich, which would be fantastic. One kilogram to spare, yep. Yeah. That one's for the heart of Ostrich, if we have to kill Ostrich. Are relics usable items, or do they just get displayed? Both. My first relic, sometimes sometimes they're usable, sometimes they're just for display only. It really depends on the relic you choose. So my three relics are all weapons, because we are... Um, we're a violent ideology, so I figured worshipping tablets didn't make sense. We want to worship weapons. So my first relic that I have... This, these two weapons are introduced in a Feral Faction mod pack. This is sort of like a charge lance. This is sort of like a longsword. And uh, here it is in a reliquary, but we can always use it as a legendary weapon if we want. What is heavier, a kilogram of steel or a kilogram of feathers? Well, a kilogram of feathers because you have to live with the knowledge of what you did to those birds. <laughs> That's what's heavier. <laughs> <laughs> a glitter world officer named Hirodo. Sure, I'll take for free food. That's fine by me. Hi, Hirodo. Uh, we, you know what we could do? We could uh, prisoner execute Hirodo in three days. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, Eli, go rescue Hirodo. Scipio, thank you for the uh, the follow, and Lumine for the resub. Cheers. And let me introduce you yet another one of my mascots, Tusk. Uh, I'll lure her with carrots, like she's a rabbit. Tusk. You have to get up and move. The treat's here. All right. <laughs> there you go. Morning, you cheese. You're still alive. And Moles, thanks for gifting out so many subs. She's lazy? Yeah, she's lazy. Yeah, you're lazy. She's cute, but she's lazy. Very, very lazy. Oh, she heard that and I was sitting in the corner. Ah. <sighs> So we have 1.4 days of food, 1.4 days of travel. That seems to work out perfectly. Uh, when or if Ostrich does not get, stands back up, we'll even move faster. Let me clear out th this nonsense. We still have the Thrumbo to deal with, and I did mention that I wanted um, Glitch and Eli to... Kick that off. Oh, they're awake now. Is she energy efficient or is she lazy? She's energy efficient, you're right. It's different. I kind of want the throne. Oh, okay, it's not gonna happen. I kind of want the thrombo to come into the the uh the ranch here but instead it's just gonna bash my door I may want a prisoner area for o ostrich uh yeah you're you're right I will want one uh what I could do for ostrich because ostrich needs to convert first is I will set up a miserable little prisoner area uh like this initially Oh god, it's getting through. Run! Uh. 
Viper, don't wander. <laughs> Not quite the constructor that his wife is. Glitch here has a construction of four, and she has a construction of 18. Not a fair comparison. Haha. -ha. <laughs> you can't get me now. Viper, you better duck. No, no, don't go towards it. <laughs> don't go towards it. Viper's like, I'm free! Definitely going for the exit there. Of course you are. Man, Psychic Burden is really... Oh, there, there it goes. Alright, Glitch. Are you sorry for letting the door, door go boom? I'm not worried about Viper wandering away. Viper Viper will do what Viper does. Wander or not. Let's see if Glitch can manage to actually construct a door. Yes! Surprisingly, yes. Alright, taking... Carrying Viper back in. Forget that roping nonsense. No one needs that. <laughs> that is honestly my favorite trick I've found so far with the latest update. It's just like, oh, pretend to anesthetize them and then put them back down. No problem at all. All right, you guys ready for the other thrombo? Let's hope it doesn't cost me yet another door. Uh, the rest of the group is only a day away with two days of food. I don't know how they gained food, but uh, I won't complain. Strange magic afoot. Finally. Now, Glitch isn't exactly the best shooter, either. Skill of 10 is good, but it's not, like, uh, fantastic. This time, I'm not gonna bother going behind a door, because I fully expect this thing to bash right on through the door. I should have probably just used the Long Stalker Relic, because that thing's armor penetration would wreck a Thrumbo. Being legendary and all. But whatever. We this this helps to train um This helps to train us up a bit. Alright, both Thrumbo dead. And I think I'm actually gonna uh, put the butchering back to any worker. Back to basically Raptor, because I want the highest yield. Silly Viking. I love it. Hey, Silly Viking, I have a question for you. What is your feeling about Fat Thor in God of War? <laughs> maybe maybe a Silly Viking would have a, a viable answer for me. <laughs> what about all of you? For me, I love it. I think it's fantastic. And I have no uh, no understanding of why there is controversy whatsoever. But that, that, that's my two cents. But what do you guys think? If you don't know what I'm talking about, the uh, Thor and his character model was just announced for the upcoming game, and uh, he's a bit barrel-chested. But that's actually more or less how he was supposed, or how he has been described in mythology. So it's actually more closer to the mythological Thor than what Marvel would have you believe. Yeah. In, in mythology, he feasted and drank a lot. And he was supposed to be barrel-chested, heavy-set, and ugly, honestly. Which, uh, is not exactly how you would 
describe a Hemsworth. Oh, good. More fire. Oh, rice fire. Yeah, Norse Thor was a, a big guy. Yeah, he was. Was indeed. Right, what's expiring? These Scourge Pods. Uh, 22 hours to accept these Scourge Pods. Let me update the f the focus at the top, because obviously we did the Worshipful Village. So Scourge Pods and Recruit. I want the other group to come home first. Ideally. You're sure at least one Hemsworth will be worthy of that description in the future? Maybe, but... Not the one that plays Thor. Well, used to play Thor. I like how, with all the other animals away, little Viper here is like, hmm. The animal bed. Can I make mechs and bugs fight one another? Um, yes, but they're not going to be on the same map tile, so no. Oh, speaking of other map tile. I like <laughs> I'm a cannibal, and they have a dude named Salad? I mean, you're just asking for it. You're just asking for it. And the other one has bright blue hair. A delicacy in Wendigo culture. Oh, they are a cannibal. They're a cannibal named Salad? Okay, sure. Sure. Oh, what was that? Oh, they're assaulting. Cool. Hey, watch this. <laughs> so dumb. And they're dead. Good job. Disqualified. There's one every season. Since moles left, there's almost been a full harvest of rice. All right, Scorch Pods, 11 hours. These guys are getting back within 11 hours, so hustle up. I have so many warnings here that I just am completely ignoring because they're all pertaining to the other map tile, which doesn't pertain to me at all. Like, I don't care. Not in the least. I'm smelting components? That's not even possible. You can't smelt components. So, I'm gonna say I'm not doing that. I was fixing the smelter with a component. <laughs> I know it looked like the other way around, but it wasn't. I can assure you. Man, oh, that's gross. Psychic Droner, uh, Glitch, let's wear that foil, shall we? Because that's going to get to you. And also, consume a carnivore meal. Glitch here is uh, hypersensitive, so uh, a mild Psychic Droner. Uh, seems like Professor X trying to scramble your brains like they're egg. To a glitch. Don't do that. My brains don't belong scrambled. So we have five hours to accept the Scorch Pods, which you all vote. Okay, here we go. Finally. Jesus. All right, moles. Capture, and we'll accept once everyone's inside.
So the droner's only a negative 20. I mean, that's not terrible. And it's possible that I... I could do a public execution soon and a leader speech, perhaps, to bolster. I don't really care about Hiroto. Part of me just wants to off him, because he's being a little whiny. But he's also paralyzed, so, like, what could he possibly do? Spit? Cry? Both? Either way, I find it amusing, so... Okay, three hours. Uh, ooh! I didn't ask you what reward. Oh boy, alright, let me do that real quick. What reward do I pick? One, two, or three. So, number one would be a tough skin gland and jade, valued at 1420. Number two would be an Eltex shirt, master work quality, and a low shield pack. Uh, I believe I already have an Eltex shirt at expert qual or excellent quality, but that aside, at 1430, or 180 gold at uh, 1800. And I'll, I'll probably have to pause before too long here because I don't want to run the clock out. The reason we, we have this outpost here is there's a self-tamed Thrumbo sitting in this crypt to sleep casket, which is why I haven't abandoned this tile. This tile was originally just for mining and resources, but um, no one in our colony had the animal handling skills to tend to a Thrumbo, to deal with a Thrumbo. So we've actually been looking for a long time uh, for a possible recruit with a high level of animal skill. And this new person here, who should be converted, uh, does indeed have that. A burning passion of uh, animals with a skill of nine. You need a skill of ten to be able to handle a thrombo. So very, very close to the uh, the skill required. So awesome. Awesome all around. Oh, good. And I have some breachers coming in. What do we got? We got uh, four pikes, four scythe, and a termite. All right. Well, that's fun. Okay. Looks to me like number one is going to win, so I'm just going to cancel this poll now. Accept it for number one, because I have a plan. Well, I don't really have a plan, but I'm going to uh, cry havoc and let loose the dogs at war. So, Scorch Pods, number one, done. And then, Turretter. Let's call our ally, who we have a 100% relationship with, and they refuse to come because it's too cold. Okay. Sea ice problems. Glitch, don't get shot in the head. I know you got that little helmet of yours. Oh, the Scorch Pods are on the other map tile. I apologize. Uh, Sure, yeah, let's wake them up. Good morning. Go, f uh, they're not going to be able to fight one another. That's hilarious. That, I had no idea. So, we're, we're about to get some fog. But let's deal with this group here. So, why is this site they're falling behind? I guess they're just marching. Spiders versus mechs versus, I guess I'm Terran in this. Ooh. High charge rifle. Uh, don't mind if I do. Raptor, could you grab that? Oh, cry. Uh, Eli does not have a shield belt. All right, I'm glad I noticed that before I sent him out to, like, soak up gunfire. I think what I'm going to do here... Oh, Yak died to the mech cluster, I'm assuming. Good, they're shooting at moles.
No, come on. I told you to solely focus on the termite and you're not even done with it yet. That's just insulting. Uh, what else can I do? Everybody go for termite. Uh, who cannot hit? Mallet can't. Alright, I don't like the thought of the Scyther attacking moles. Because although she's in Cataphract up top, she's in a toque down below. So I'm going to try to... Let's burden. Shredder, get a little bit closer. Wow, that is one tanky termite. There we go. Kill it! Kill it faster. Oh my god, the aim here, even with the combat command, is just miserable. go. I don't think Eli's too badly now. He's fine. Yeah, the fog is really hurting. Our accuracy drops considerably due to fog. You're completely right. And let's go ahead and haul in some of these dead mechs. Just a legendary crate gun. <laughs> Easy fix. You're not wrong. That would that would definitely fix it. If I had uh oh, you are about to lose your mind though. Do you have any Oh, the fine meal's not going to help because you're not hungry. Well, let's hope that doesn't happen because you are our uh, morale officer in a way. Everybody's patched up. Uh, what is happening over here? Nothing. Well, what are they assembling? Uh, Scythers and Lancers? It's really not my problem, is it now? Not on my map tile. Not in my backyard. So, <laughs> I barely care. Um, let's haul the rest of these in. And I am just about out of time. Let me uh, let me wrap up real quick. <laughs> Another hour. Sorry, I would be. Uh, I'm I'm due to cook dinner. You know. I wish I had more of a flexible schedule. Speaking of which, we have no food. Man, the mood here is bad. But well, that will be fixed once we publicly execute, uh, what's his face? Hiroto, maybe. Yeah, that weather controller is gonna make a lot of fog everywhere. It's gonna be actually tar hard to hunt around our home unless I clear it out. Which I could probably work to do. But. That might be for another time. Oh, and we're having a rolling blackout. Sweet. With uh, with rice fully grown in the hydroponic basins. Oh, good. Let me uh, shut down some unnecessaries to try to conserve. Well, this will be my ending spot, sadly. I am sorry for that. Let me put Yoda on. Thank you for tuning in to Wendigos, which originally streamed live on Twitch September 12th. If you have any feedback for me, let me know in the comments below. 
If you like the new win condition, let me know. It was overwhelmingly voted for, but I am curious to what you think in the comments. If you would like to catch a live stream of mine, Rodamont.com has my stream schedule and countdown timers to upcoming streams. Thank you so very much for watching. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, everybody.